Yes. Let her. Your prayer, sir. Please be seated. Order. Colors. I would ask Mayor Bennett to give our opening remarks, please. Hey, whoops, there we go. Thank you. It is our tradition uh, in Peterborough to start our council meetings, and this is a special council meeting with the Lord's Prayer, followed by 30 seconds of silent reflection, and then we move on to the national anthem, and then we will uh, have this the ceremonial presentation. So if you would indulge me, and I will say the Lord's Prayer, you're more than welcome to uh, join in with me on that, if, if you are so inclined. The 30 seconds of silent reflection tonight, we lost one of our veterans this week, and he was a city employee as well. Ted Brook passed away. The funeral for him is on Friday, so if you could, perhaps keep him in your thoughts for the 30 seconds of silent reflection. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. They lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. If we could please rise for the singing of the national anthem. And so we move to our 2013 Remembrance Day recognition. Next Monday, people in Peterborough will gather to mark the armistice to end the First World War. We will gather as well as we have for the last 94 years to mourn the many fallen and to praise the many values that compelled them to their sacrifice on our behalf. Through their selfless actions, generations of courageous men and women from the city of Peterborough have truly defined what it means to be a Canadian. They have stood for freedom and democracy. They have stood for human rights and the rule of law. They have stood for love of country, and they have stood for us. And next week, we will stand for them. We honor to remember and we remember to honor, as the poem urges us, to you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. We thank all of our veterans and all of their family members today, Monday the 11th, and every day 
We stand in your honor, we share in your loss, and we go forward in your grace, lest we forget. Mr. Clark. Thank you, Worship, for those eloquent words. Would everyone please rise? playing at the last post in Revali. The first minute is for them, the second minute is for us. Last post, please. <laughs> Comrade Rathburn, please. They shall go on old, the free who will not grow old. They shall not worry them, though the years condemn. But going down to the sun, in the morning, we will remember them. We will, we will remember, remember them. them. Please be seated. I would now like to call forward Julia Kimball to read the poem, made famous from the First World War, written by Canadian Lieutenant Colonel John McRae in Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields by John McRae. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow, between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing, Fly scares heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Thank you very much. Please rise. Color Sergeant. Sir. March off the colors. Sir. Color first. Right. Turn.
Please be seated. This concludes our annual service of remembrance. I hope to see everyone on the 11th at the Cenotaph.